What's up, fam? This is Chief X, the guy best reincarnated. And uh, just wanted to give everybody and friends um, a recap of RBG Family Weekend that just happened um, this Friday, August 22nd through 24th in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting here still on a high from the weekend. And it's Sunday evening, things have ended. And um, I'm still in Texas, heading back to Los Angeles um, in the morning. But um, I'm, I want to say I'm 44 years old. I've been to a lot of events um, and activities in my life. And um, this has to be one of the top events I've attended and I've um, been a part of. Um, I would have to say it's one of the most spiritual, inspiring events that I participated in in my whole life. And that's saying a lot. I mean, um, the Southern hospitality was there. The unity amongst the brothers and sisters there was at an apex um, of what I've witnessed in my life. You know, um, I couldn't really afford to come here to Texas, but I was blessed and um, I ended up catching a one way flight here and was going to catch the Greyhound back. Now, Supreme Ra who was my comrade, who was organizing the event. And I got much love and want to give Supreme Ra a shout out. Um, he's a wonderful brother. I got big love for him. Um, I had, he had called me before I came and, I, and asked me where was I was staying. I said, Supreme Ra, I'm just showing up. And when I get there, I'm going to be homeless. He said, no, you're not. And he hooked me up with a, um, a wonderful lady who I want to give a shout out to. Her name is Devitra. And she had opened her doors for me and showed some Southern hospitality and allowed me to um, stay in one of her rooms. And it was a beautiful place. I want to give her a shout out because she's a very sweet lady. Her name is Devitra, one of my Facebook friends. Very sweet lady, very hospitable. And, um, you know, I just have big love for her and I love the woman um, for who she is and what she does for me and helped me out and looked out for me and just showed me around Texas and, and some southern hospitality so Devitra I love you and um, so I had a place to stay and on top of that I get here brother named Jerome had a family member who worked for the airlines no he had a family member who worked for the airlines and because I had planned to take the Greyhound back, and uh, which takes a whole day plus six hours, I got hooked up with a standby first class flight back to Los Angeles for little of nothing. It was just like cheap. I'm like, what? Cheaper than a bus. So I received some Southern hospitality, and I love it. Now, back to the event. Man, uh, I'm sitting here like a kid in a candy store still, vibing off the energy from this weekend. I mean, you know, I'm going to explain it, but, you know, it's like, it was just the most spiritual, inspiring, and uh, awe-inspiring weekend that I've had in my adult life. Unity was at an all-time high at the apex of what I've experienced in life with a group of brothers and sisters and who we were deep and um, a lot of connections from Facebook friends and people knew each other, some people didn't know each other and um, I want to say thanks to the, the, the uh, RBG family, you know, some I knew from Facebook friends, 
some I couldn't recall, put faces together, some who knew me and I didn't know them, who had so much, and I was so flattered, respect for me, and told me how much they've learned from me, and what, uh, how I inspired them, just through social media and Facebook. And how just they looked up to me and appreciated the things that I say, the videos that I make, and uh, made me feel like a king. You know what I mean? Just made me feel like, you know, wow. I didn't know I touched you. You know what I mean? I didn't even know you knew I existed, some people. You know what I mean? And they coming at me, talking to me, and telling me these things. And you know, we was drinking at, at the picnic and people was just talking and you opening up. So people were sharing, you know what I mean? From the heart with each other. And I didn't realize the effect some of the things I say have on people. Um, and how much they learn from me. So I was just flattered the entire time, which even made my weekend that much better, you know? Uh, and I appreciate that. But other than me, man, this weekend was amazing. I mean, you have got to get to RBG Family Weekend next year. I swear to God, everybody who's listening in the earshot of this video, you have got to get to Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas next year at this time for this event. And I can't express it any more plainer. I don't care how much it fucking costs or expensive it is for you. I'm telling you, it will be well worth your money spent. And it is history. I mean, the love, the entertainment, the conferences, the food, the people, or just everybody just on a high spiritual level. Everybody loved each other. It wasn't one bicker, not one fight, one disagreement, wasn't nobody playing no games. It was love and unity for three days straight. Powerful love and unity. Do you know what I mean? And I've never experienced that. And, uh, like, um, they had the picnic Saturday. And, uh, entertainment throughout the pickup. I mean, excuse me, throughout the picnic. And the entertainment was, like, awesome. I mean, better than any concert I've went to. It was conscious rap, conscious poetry, um, drums, dancing, singing, um, just you name it, you know. Um, even it's all relative to our people and what we're going through and where we need, and where we need to be, you know. Um, talented people. Not just no fly by night old suckers are up on the stage. Everyone was talented. You know? And it was very entertaining. You know? I and absolutely loved my weekend. I loved the picnic. You know? Um, and just vibing with people and meeting the people you see on social media that you've never met before. And seeing them face to face and looking them in their eye. And everyone was genuine. You know what I mean? Everyone was genuine. And Sunday they had, no, excuse me, excuse me. Before the picnic Saturday, they had the conference and workshops. And it must have been about nine different um, speakers um, who spoke on, you know, things that they had in mind or planned to speak on. And it was marvelous. And I want to say the highlight of that conference to me, personally, was Mama Muwambi, I think her name is. Mama Muwambi. Um, and she has um, a tribe of children. And all of her children are 
well behaved, well educated, very, very spiritual, talented, sing poetry. And I was just impressed by this woman in the lecture that she gave, in the teaching that she gave. And this was a powerful woman. And I just, I wanted to speak on her because she was the highlight of the conference to me. Her words touched me in a way that no other woman's words have touched me as far as spiritual enlightenment and love of culture and just the black people. She was like a throwback from the ancient days. I mean, she birthed her own children. She's a midwife. Uh, she can be just about anything in the world it is. She does homeschooling. She teaches homeschooling. She calls it free schooling. I mean, and I want to give this woman a shout out if this video gets to her. Woman, I love you. I love your message. And you are very powerful. Your whole family is powerful. You know. Um, so she was the highlight of the conference. Mama Muwazi, I think her name is. I might have it wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll stand to be corrected. Uh, I even spoke to the lady. Every time I seen her, I walked up to her and spoke to her. Because I just wanted to get her energy and pick her brain. So, because when you run across special people, you have to pick their brain. You know what I mean? And when I run across special people, I'm up in their face. I was in her face. And she was... Uh, you know, impressed, but I just had to get next to her and talk to her. That's just how I am. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you know, she was amazing, and she was the highlight of the conference to me. And um, it was a wonderful weekend. Um, Baba of New African um, Unity Temple, Unity, uh, the Baba, he's like the pastor would be to the church. He's an amazing man. He was just like the MC of the whole three week, three day weekend. And uh, big respect for him and I loved him. And he kept things very entertaining and rolling on time and organized. Um, they was organized. You know, this was just no old bullshit. Everything was organized and on program and on schedule. Um, and the thing that tops it off, after Saturday, the conference and the picnic came Sunday, which was Temple Day. Started around 12 noon. And the Baba spoke a very good message to the people. Um, and that was very empowering and uplifting. And um, another brother who was moved by this lady, Mama Mawazi, um, had the same feeling I had about her, but he expressed it to her um, when we had kind of a question and answer spirit, I mean, period, after Baba spoke. And um, people expressed their feelings for the weekend, and his brother told her that he couldn't leave her side. He was so touched by her. That he was moving to the area just to be next to her. This is how powerful this lady was. You know, and Mama Muwazi got to break it down in tears as he was telling her, just so flattered and touched. You know what I mean? She called on a group hug. So you have a hundred folk getting up out their seats from wherever they was inside that building. And we had one big hug. Not, a, not no holding hands. A hug. It was one big ball of hug. Mama Muwazi got to speaking out like the ancestor mama she is. And people started breaking down crying. I looked, I'm starting to get teary-eyed. <laughs> Real shit. And I look up, I see another brother crying. I said, first of all, I said, I got to be tough. I ain't going to sit up in here and cry. But I was getting soft and teary-eyed. I seen another brother tearing and another brother tearing and broke me down. Chief X busted a few tears up in there in the group hug. It was that touching. I mean, men and women were crying. 
they broke up here there. <laughs> I was in there teary eyed. I had to, after the group hug, go to the bathroom and get some Kleenex and dampen my damn eyes. You know what I mean? I was that touched. That topped off the weekend for me. Okay? So, after that, it was just like, you know, Jubilee. You know, um, you know everybody gets to mingling again. <laughs> I had mentioned that I, I, I teared up. To my brother and comrade, said he, and the, and, the, and the nigga began to tease me. You know, oh, it was all in fun, though. I bet my brother, I mean, I met him before, but I got to chit chat with my brother, Sarah Sutton, said he. Very, very, very cool cat. Very down to earth. You know what I mean? We uh, chopped it up, you know, and enjoyed our, ourselves. And, um, you know, um, it was just an honorable weekend, you know. Um, met my brother's. Supreme Ra in person, um, Alik Africa, the Black Cracker Smacker, met, met my brother. Um, um, it, it was just a, brother, a, a bunch of brothers, and I can't begin to name them all, but um, you know, everything was on point. And I just want to say, you guys have got to get out there next summer around this time. To RBG Family Weekend. I'm going to tell you. Red, Black, and Green, RBG, is a social political movement. Wasn't nothing about no religion. And, and nobody, we didn't, we nobody was kicking no damn Bible verses. No fucking surahs out the Quran. None of that. Wasn't no religion. It was just love, talk, progress, unity. Recycle black dollars. You know what I mean? More love. More unity. More caring. More hospitality, more spirituality, just a mixed cadre of that. No religion talk, none of that garbage. And see, this is why I keep telling people the only way to unity is the red, black, and green, a social political movement. Marcus Garvey revamped. We knew Africans. You know what I mean? Long Star RBG, I got much love for all them brothers and sisters. The families of Supreme Ra, wonderful people. His wife is a lovely lady. Alik Africa, his wife uh, and wives are lovely ladies. Everybody was family and respectable and honorable people. Everyone I know, I will, next year I'm going to promote it to my fullest. I highly suggest everyone get out there and come in. Um, next summer. We was deep this summer, but it gets bigger and bigger and badder and badder and more spiritual, more spiritual, more unity and more unity. You have got to come next year. That's all I can say. This was like a history moment for me today. So I had to drop a video on this, you know, um, and just give it to y'all, give it to y'all from my point of view, you know. Anything that made me break down and cry, was some deep motherfucking shit. You know what I mean? In public. And I didn't give a fuck because everyone was so cool and loving and caring. And everyone felt the same spirit move over them. We didn't catch the Holy Ghost. We caught the ancestor spirit moving over us. Not no damn ghosts. This is the ancestor spirit. You know what I mean? It's like the gods returned to earth. It was here and picnicking and, and, and um, conversing with each other and communing with each other and cohabitating with each other. You know? And I just wanted to share this. And your motherfucking asses better be there next year, whoever didn't make it. You know what I mean? So I went for you to let you know about next year. And the bigger, the better. Recycling Black Dollars, people was doing business with each other. People were sharing, helping. Do you need some money for this? Are you okay? You got a place to stay? When you leaving, are you going home? Are you going to be okay? You need a ride here, there? Everybody was taken care of and handled. I don't give a shit if you got 